when I well yeah there's one I listened to one album <laughs> over and over but, oh which is which I just kind of fell into so there's this guy named Stephen Halpern who does this music that's like it's basically meditative music oh okay but it has this quasi scientific component where it's called binaural music so our brain has like the the brain waves that are best for um, sort of meditation there's sort of the deep I'm going to get them wrong, but like theta, I think is like sleep. And then there's like alpha and, and, and there are these various stages and there's sort of a sweet spot for focus and creativity and stuff like that. And so this guy makes music that it has binaural tones on it, tones in it, which means that it has two tones at different frequencies. And what they found is that your brain, when it hears the two frequencies at the same time, it basically perceives the difference between the two frequencies. So if you have two frequencies that are eight megahertz away from each other, your brain will hear the eight and then it'll kind of start to dial itself down to the eight. Interesting. Yeah. So I'm I don't know. That. I don't know if it works or not at all. I honestly don't know, but it, from a placebo effect. It exactly. To. And it's what I uh, it's what I listen to. What, what is white noise? I love going to sleep to white noise. Is I that listen, more I, than two frequencies? Is that like three or something? I think it's just... I don't know what frequency it's at. Okay. But it's just <laughs> garbled. So uh, what is piano similar? I should get a... I should get a uh, you want, yeah. You want some of this? Well, I don't want to steal your towel. <laughs> no, you got it. Oh, my uh, goodness. I, I like to listen to piano when I when I work. Is that like similar that. to that? Or no, that's completely different. Yeah, well, this... Because if you have two different chords, would that be in the same vein? No, because it's just two... It's these frequencies that play simultaneously. You just can't beep. hear them. Well, okay. you can't hear them. Oh! No, 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 the music, it sounds like bullshit New Age music. Oh! I thought you were listen, just listening to, like, two frequencies no. at the same... Oh, That okay. would be some... I know! Uh, spectrum that's kind of <laughs> stuff. No, no, no. It's that's just... That's why I reference white noise. It's just general... Do, 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 do. Like, under, you know, new age music, but then built into the, the sound gotcha. are these two competing frequencies that your brain somehow just sort of tunes into the difference between them, and then you're supposed to bring you. And so this guy has these albums that are for different frequencies, and, and I just and picked one and started listening to does, it. Is that how he markets his music as like focus music? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has some I'm on Spotify. Have to check him out. Yeah, that's super cool. So anyway, I generally, if I'm feeling like I don't always do it, but if I'm, I can't listen to music that has uh, lyrics because I get totally distracted. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm the same. Um, sometimes I listen to some electronic music, but mostly it's just that album. Yeah, which puts me in a weird place where I just kind of. What album? What specific one? It's do called you know Deep the Theta, it? I think. I'm gonna try it. Yeah, Deep Theta. Yeah, I know. It's, it's very, like a good rock band. Yeah, exactly. Deep Theta. 